hello friends once again welcome back to the automation revolution uh, in our uh, all previous video regarding plc programming uh, plc in basic instruction advanced instruction uh, timers counters and uh, mostly all uh, instruction we have seen in automation revolution channel so from this video we will start another uh, important series uh, for plc programming and here we will develop uh, different logics uh, based on uh, this instruction what we have learn in our uh, videos so uh, you can see here uh, we have one list for plc programs and uh, we will start from second program because uh, first program we already did in uh, our previous video so from second uh, program we will uh, start to make logic uh, before uh, we start uh, to develop the logic uh, we will will understand uh, very few topics uh, that are very mandatory uh, for plc programming so uh, if you if you have any logic or any uh, instruction regarding the plc programming so first we will identify what are the inputs and what are the outputs second thing how many outputs and how many inputs uh, are there in uh, our program and uh, whether it's analog or digital so these three th uh, things are mandatory uh, to identify any in any logic or any instructions so first we will read instructions uh, so the second program we will read there are three switches s1 s2 and s3 and there are three lamps l1 l2 and l3 so uh, the switches will be our digital inputs so there are three uh, digital inputs and uh, the lamp will be our output so there are three lamp output these are uh, digital outputs so in our program there are three uh, digital inputs and three digital outputs and here we have three different condition or three different logic uh, which we need to make uh, right now in our program so first logic is when any of switch uh, 1 s1 s2 or s3 is on so lamp l1 must glow on and uh, second thing is l2 and l3 must be off so if we press any switch s1 s2 or s3 in that case only l1 lamp must glow on and l2 and l3 must be off this will be our first condition uh, second condition is if any two switches among s1 s2 and s3 so lamp l2 must glow on and l1 and l3 must be off so this will be our uh, second condition so uh, any two switches s1 s2 s3 s2 s3 or s1 s3 is on in that case l2 must be on and third condition if all three switches are on l3 must glow on and l2 uh, and l1 must be off so these are the three different uh, logic or conditions and based on uh, this uh, condition uh, we will develop later logic so let's start before uh, we develop or uh, design later logic uh, uh, i will explain you in a technical way so first we will uh, make truth table based on this instruction so you can see here i have made a truth table so first we will uh, indicate inputs and outputs and uh, there are three instruction or three logic so uh, i have made three truth table so in first truth table uh, when switches is on so in that case uh, we will consider one and switch is off so we will consider zero logic so in first case if any switch so in first case s1 is on s2 and s3 uh, both are off so l1 lamp uh, must glow on the same uh, same condition but in that uh, in second uh, logic s2 is on and s1 s3 both are off in that case also uh, l1 lamp must glow on and when s3 is on s1 s2 both are of l1 must glow on so this will be our first condition second condition when any two switches so we can consider s s1 and s2 both are on s3 is off then l2 must glow on s2 and s3 both are on and s1 is off l2 must glow on and last condition s1 and s3 both are on and s2 is off in that condition also we need l2 on last condition when all three switches are on means s1 s2 and s3 all three switches uh, high or one 
in that case we need l3 uh, lamp most of all so these are the uh, different condition uh, based on the truth table uh, we will develop here uh, later logic so uh, s1 s2 and s3 so these are the end condition and uh, this uh, column will be our uh, all logic this row will be uh, and and column will be or so that uh, that uh, we will develop in Siemens TI portal so in Siemens TI portal I already configured Siemens 1200 PLC you can see here uh, CPU 1 to 1 for CACDC relay and uh, I have downloaded hardware configuration now we will directly move uh, with main OB 1 and here uh, we will develop this program so uh, you can see here we have uh, three different uh, condition and three different logic so uh, generally PLC is uh, scanning program uh, left to right and top to bottom so uh, we will use three net different network so it will be very uh, easily uh, it will be very easy uh, for troubleshooting uh, or modification uh, while uh, we need to uh, modify the program so I will use instruction uh, here NO and NC contact so first I will drag and drop here so we will use first S1 is on so for S1 uh, 1 we will op uh, use open contact and for 0 we will use NC contact so I will also uh, use 2 NC contact and 1 output now I will assign addressing so from the device configuration uh, you came to know that uh, this addressing is starting from i0.04 digital uh, in Siemens uh, 1200 uh, PLC and output uh, addressing is starting from Q0.0 so I will assign here i0.0 i0.1 and i0.2 for output I will assign q0.0 I can also rename uh, right click on that tag and rename tag so I will assign here s1 s2 and s3 So these are our three switches S1, S2 and S3 and this will be output lamp L1. Now so our first condition uh, we made uh, in later so we will go for second condition and third condition. So uh, this will be a uh, total uh, logic for this condition so in TI we will open branch and here uh, we will make another branch because in second condition also we want l1 on so please remember uh, while we uh, you are uh, developing the program you can take uh, input contact multiple time but you cannot take uh, output relay coil uh, multiple times if you used a q0.0 uh, relay coil uh, here so you cannot uh, use this L1 or Q0.0 relay coil second time. You can use contact of this uh, output but you cannot use relay. So uh, that's why in second logic we will uh, use here 0, 1 and 0. So first we will take NC, open contact and NC. So I will use NC, open contact and NC and I will close the branch. So here I will assign S1, S2 and S3. Now we will go for last condition for first logic. Once again I will open branch and NC, NC and open contact. NC first take and now I will assign addressing S1, S2 and S3. So for a first logic uh, we made little logic so when S1 switch on S2 and S3 both are off so L1 lamp must glow on when you press S2 switch then L1 lamp on when you press S3 switch in that case also you can 
uh, on this Q0.0 or L1 lamp. Now uh, we will see the second network or second logic that we will develop in network 2. So here uh, we will take two open contact for S1 and S2 and one NC contact. So I will use here like this. This will be our S1. Sorry. S2 and this will be S3. Here we will use output Q0.2. So this will be L2 lamp. Once again, I will use second uh, condition. So uh, S2 and S3 both are on and S1 is off. So first we will use NC and to open contact and that we will use in OR. Once again I will open and uh, now we will see S1 and S3 uh, open contact and this will be NC contact. S1, S2 and S3. So you can see when you press both input S1 and S2 then and only this L1 lamp uh, sorry L2 lamp will be on and uh, when you press both input S2 and S3 in that case uh, and any uh, any one contact from uh, this network one will be open and uh, L1 remain off. Last condition we will see uh, when all three switches are on an L3 lamp must uh, on so we will uh, use network 3 and uh, here we will use 3 open contact and 1 coil so S1 S2 and S3 when all 3 switches are on we need Q0.3 or L3 lamp on So now our uh, program is ready for simulation and we will check whether uh, it's working as per our condition or not. So uh, first we will compile this program and uh, from the compilation window we need error and warning 0. Uh, you can uh, neglect the warning but uh, error must be 0. So after compilation uh, we will download uh, this uh, little logic in PLC hardware. So here we have option uh, download to device. So I will click on this uh, button and uh, this program is uh, downloaded in PLC hardware. You can see uh, lo loading is completed now without error and uh, warning. Uh, now you can uh, monitor on by clicking on this button. So uh, you can uh, visualize this letter. Uh, now uh, I will press S1 switch from a PLC hardware input. So I will press S1 switch. So in that case L1 is on and L2 and L3 both are off. Now I will press S2 switch. So you can see L1 is on, L2 and L3 is off. Once again I will press S3 switch. So in that case also uh, this L1 lamp is on. So our first network is uh, completed uh, by checking the network. Now we will uh, check the second network as per our logic. So I will press S1 and S2 both the switch. So in that case only L2 is on and you can see L1 is off, L3 is also off. Uh, second network uh, we will check this second condition S2 and S3 is on. In that case L2 is on. L1 and uh, L3 is also off and uh, we will check last condition S1 and S3 in that case also uh, L2 is on L1 and uh, L3 is off now uh, we will check last condition uh, by making all three switches on 
so in that case only l3 is on and l2 l1 uh, both uh, output are off so this is how we can uh, check our program and uh, based on uh, truth table we can make uh, ladder logic or ladder programming very easily if you have any question or query uh, you can make a comment a comment in our video uh, second thing if you uh, like our video you can subscribe uh, for getting updated uh, video notification uh, so please uh, watch our videos and share and subscribe as much as thank you very much for watching